welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Depression and anxiety do not increase cancer risk, contrary to former belief. In an analysis of multiple studies from the Netherlands, the UK, Norway and Canada, investigators found that depression and anxiety are not linked to higher risk for most types of cancers among this population. Some research has supported the association between depression, anxiety and cancer incidence, while other investigations have found no or negligible associations. To provide additional insights, Lonek A. Van Tuel of the University Medical Center Groningen and her colleagues examined data from the International Psychosocial Factors and Cancer Incidence Consortium, which includes information from 18 prospective study groups with more than 3 lakh adults from the Netherlands, UK, Norway and Canada. Marching towards engineered blood vessels. University of Melbourne researchers have developed a fast, inexpensive and scalable method for engineering blood vessels from natural tissue. By combining multiple materials and fabrication technologies, the researchers developed a method to create blood vessels with complex geometrics like native blood vessels. Illness and dysfunction in blood vessels can result in life-threatening disorders such as heart attacks, strokes and aneurysms, making cardiovascular disease the number one killer globally. Novel method that identifies mutations in childhood brain tumors. Researchers at Uppsala University have developed a new method to find mutations in brain tumors in children. They could also show that the mutations identified by them changes how cancer cells respond to a cancer drug. These findings could lead to better diagnostics and more individualized treatment of children with brain tumors. The study is published in the journal PNAS. To gain a comprehensive view of what mutations are important in medulloblastoma, the researchers used a method that very recently developed as part of an international consortium. The method specifically looks at conserved positions in the genome and builds on the assumption that DNA sequences that has remained the same over millions of years of evolution are likely to have important functions. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.